If you like ice cream, but more specifically chocolate ice cream, don't scroll. Today we're making a chocolate cookie dough ice cream cake. We're going to start today by lining the sides of our frozen cake ring with chocolate soft serve. For the bottom layer, we're going to make a large cookie dough blizzard and smooth that out. To finish it off, we'll add more chocolate soft serve on top. After it's spent a couple hours in the blast, we can release it and then it's time to start decorating. The customer wanted a sloth drawn on top of their cake, so before doing anything, I added a small layer of vanilla icing to the top. This would help all the colors stand out a lot better. So I printed a clip art image of a sloth from the internet and traced that onto the top of their cake. They said the border colors were up to me, so I ended up doing a white one on top and a green one on the bottom. The writing was also in green, and so were the small little dots on the border. Happy 9th birthday, Felix. Hope you had an amazing birthday. Today we're going to be making a blizzard cake with a flavor that hasn't officially been on our menu for a couple years now, but is actually still available to order in most stores, and that is cherry cheesecake. So after lining the sides and the bottom with vanilla soft serve, we can add our middle layer of cherry sauce and frozen cheesecake pieces. Since this is an 8 inch size cake, we add one large blizzard to that, which in this case is a cherry cheesecake. After making and blending it, we can go ahead and smooth it out in the top section of the cake and pop it in the blast for a little bit. After a little bit of time, we can pull off the ring and scrape the sides, put it back in the blast, and then start decorating by adding some cherry drizzle on the sides, vanilla icing on the bottom and the top. Then we can also add some cheesecake pieces on top, more cherry drizzle, and it's ready to go. A couple days ago, I had a lady come in wanting to order a cake for her son who wasn't the biggest fan of chocolate. So I'm not either, so we brainstormed some ideas before deciding on a strawberry and raspberry cake. So we lined the sides with vanilla soft serve as well as the bottom. Then for the middle layer, we added some strawberries and raspberries instead of our normal cookie crunch and fudge. This is an 8 inch round cake, so for the top it calls for one large blizzard. So we made that with some strawberries and raspberries. And then we used a long metal spatula to smooth it all out. After being in the blast for a little bit, we could use our hair dryer to release the sides and then comb the edges with our metal scraper. Then I added some strawberry drizzle and then some vanilla icing on the bottom of the cake and then the top. Then I added some more strawberry sauce and then added some frozen raspberries as well. The customer wanted some cursive writing, which I'm not the best at, so I had Mara do it. And that's the finishing look. We put it in some packaging and it was ready to go. If you enjoy eating brownie batter off the spoon when making brownies, stop into Dairy Queen and try our brownie dough blizzard. Today we're going to be making this flavor into a blizzard cake for an order I took the other day. In one large blizzard, we're going to add some brownie dough pieces, chocolate chunks, and cocoa fudge. Once that's been made and blended, we can smooth it out and pop it into our blast freezer. After it's been released and the sides were scraped, we can start to decorate it with some chocolate drizzle, icing, and then brownie dough chocolate chunk pieces on top as well. The customer didn't want any writing, so after that, it was good to go. Hi everybody, so today we're going to be making a pecan cluster cake. So to start, we can line the sides of our ring with vanilla soft serve. In the bottom layer, we'll get a pecan cluster blizzard, which is an old time favorite that used to be on our menu. It has chocolate cone dip, caramel sauce, and lots of pecans. After we add our cookie crunch and fudge, we can pop it in the blast for a while before finally topping it off with some vanilla soft serve. When it came to decorating the cake, they wanted a Halloween theme up to us, so we added a skeleton, some ghosts, and bats. After that, we added our border and it was good to go. Happy Halloween! Today, we're going to be making a cake for Haley's 16th birthday. So we can start by lining the sides of a ring with vanilla soft serve, and then the bottom layer is going to get a medium and a large cookie dough blizzard. In the middle layer, we can add our cookie crumble and fudge, and then top it off with some vanilla soft serve before smoothing it down. After it's been in the blast, we can go ahead and release it and then start decorating. They wanted a pink and purple border and then happy 16th birthday Haley written in some pink gel. I don't know if it's just me, but writing this looks so satisfying. 